Hi guys, I'm Tom PB and welcome to number seven in our series of V-Tutorials in partnership with Vidorats in Parajet. In this tutorial, we're going to walk you through the exhaust bronze bushing, its function and how to change it correctly. So due to the natural vibration of two-stroke engines, most manufacturers will spend a lot of time developing their exhaust systems to cater for and absorb this vibration. So in the case of the Mostar engine we have here, Viterazzi use a unique bronze bushing system which works between the exhaust flange and the manifold. This bronze bushing material absorbs vibration over time and then can be changed at regular intervals to ensure the longevity of your exhaust system. Okay, so now let's look at some of those components more practically. Taking this MY20 muffler I have here, we can see you have the muffler, the downpipe, the exhaust flange, the bronze bushing, and the exhaust manifold. Taking those items separately, using the alternative MY19 muffler I have here, you can see we have the exhaust flange, and then also the bronze bushing, which sits inside the flange like this. Now, as I mentioned, over time, this bronze bushing will become worn and will need to be changed at regular intervals. For the older styles, such as this, the interval will be 25 hours. And here we can see a new bronze bushing and an already pre-used 25 hour bronze bushing. And you can see that the material has worn significantly. Now, together with the new MY20 exhaust system, Viterazzi have released a 50 hour bronze bushing for reduced maintenance and improved efficiency. In order to replace the bronze bushing, it'll be necessary to remove the exhaust, and you can do so following these key steps. First, you'll need to remove the exhaust springs, and there'll be three or four of them, depending on your exhaust model. This can be done using a spring puller tool, or as we show you here in the video, simply with a piece of line by extending the springs and popping them off. Once you've released the pressure in all three or four springs, simply unhook them, and together as a set, slide them down the exhaust pipe. Next, it'll be necessary to remove three nuts which hold the muffler to the mounting bracket. All three nuts are 10 millimeters. One will require a socket and two will require a spanner or wrench. Once all three nuts have been removed, simply lift and remove the muffler gently. Next, it'll be necessary to remove the exhaust manifold. And you can do this simply by removing two 10 millimeter nuts. Once the nuts have been removed, carefully remove the manifold from the cylinder. In order to remove the bronze bushing from the manifold, it may be necessary to apply heat, as demonstrated here in the video. Once heated, you can simply remove using a screwdriver. Now, let's replace the bushing. To do so, once again, may require applying some heat, and once heated, can be placed on the manifold. Please note, it may be possible to do this without applying heat, but it's our recommendation in order to make it easier. Before replacing the manifold, it'll first be necessary to apply some heat-proof silicon sealer on the exhaust gasket. Then, place the exhaust gasket onto the cylinder studs, followed by the manifold and bushing. Now, let's replace the 10 mil nuts and tighten them to a torque of 32 Newton meters. Now, to remount the exhaust, simply lift gently and place against the mounting studs before re-tightening all three 10 millimeter nuts. Finally, hook all three or four springs to the manifold and then using your tool or line, retention and attach. Now, as we spoke about earlier, Viterazzi have invested a huge amount of time and effort in continuously developing their exhaust systems to ensure the longevity of the exhaust and the very best performance. So, taking a look at this brand new MY20 exhaust system, we can see a few notable changes from the previous model. Firstly, we have the new, larger and slightly different material and shape bronze bushing. We have a double ribbed weld joint. And importantly, we have a second joint for the exhaust system, which absorbs vibration and wear. For more information regarding the MY20 exhaust,
please check out our Powerjet YouTube channel as we took you through an MY20 review. And also don't hesitate to check out the Viderazzi channels as they had a fantastic video which took you through the entire test procedure they used whilst developing the new exhaust, which really goes to show you the huge amount of effort and attention they've paid to developing this new exhaust system. So as always guys, we hope you found this tutorial useful and we look forward to welcoming you in number eight where we'll talk you through the differences between the manual and dual start engines, the components and how to maintain them effectively. Fly safe and have fun.